UAVs give a new perspective on our cropping system. They give me a perspective that I've never had before. The view from up here provides much more insight into the status of my crop. What's going on out there? I have a better view from this angle than I would from the road for sure, and even from a scouting trip inside the canopy of the field. From up here, I get a macro view of that cropping system and what's going on in the field. And with this view, with this image, I can see that my crop's in trouble here. This field is running out of gas. There's not enough nitrogen to prevent stress right now, and if I can't prevent stress, that means I'm losing yield. And there's certainly not enough to carry it through grain fill. This corn is having a bad day, and our goal is to never let corn have a bad day. And just like the advances of UAV technology, two years ago, I not only wouldn't have seen the problem I had in my field, but I wouldn't have had the tools to fix it. But now I do. 360 Y-Drop is the precision liquid nutrient application system that adds late season versatility to self-propelled sprayers. Hi, I'm Jim Hedges, an agronomist and the sales manager at 360 Yield Center. And I'm also a farmer. And it's the results I have seen on my farm that has me so excited about the way Y-Drop lets me boost the efficiency of my nitrogen investment, as well as get the full potential out of my crop. Quite simply, Corn likes nitrogen late in its developmental cycle. A lot of people are surprised that 75% of the total nitrogen required by the corn plant is used after V10. That's about chest to shoulder high corn. As breeding methods have advanced, the corn plant has evolved. Today's highly productive hybrids take up nitrogen later than previous hybrids. So our nutrient management strategies need to recognize these agronomic facts and make sure we have enough nitrogen in the tank to allow the plant to hit our yield goals. But the most popular current practices run contrary to the plant's needs. Often corn growers load the soil with their annual nitrogen supply before the seed is even planted. In the fall, this can occur with banded application of ammonia, or in the spring, it can be ammonia, broadcast, liquid nitrogen, or even urea. In each case, we have spent our entire nitrogen budget and we are susceptible to loss. We lose nitrogen or access to our nitrogen in four basic ways. Leaching, volatilization, denitrification, and immobilization. Corn uses nitrogen late in the season for grain fill. All the forms of nitrogen we use move through various forms, including ammonium nitrite, ultimately ending up in nitrate, which is plant available. Each form at certain temps and moistures is susceptible to one of these four losses. So if I apply my nitrogen in November, and my corn plants use the bulk of the nitrogen in July, there are seven months of unpredictable temperature and moisture events that could erode my supply. Even if I apply a weed and feed just prior to planting, I risk volatilization as well as denitrification from warm spring soils, as well as leaching from big spring and early summer rains. And while we can't stop these weather events, we can save back some of our nitrogen and supply it closer to the time that the plant needs it after mother nature has shown us her hand. Like many growers, I have moved to a base plus approach to nitrogen management. With a base plus strategy, I put down enough nitrogen ahead of planting or with my planter to get my crop to the V14 growth stage. This ensures my nitrogen tank never runs dry, but also lets me take advantage of being able to apply the right amount of nitrogen to maximize the yield mother nature has given me or not given me. So come rain, sun, drought, whatever, I have the flexibility to provide what the crop needs. Some years, I'll gain enough through mineralization that I can either reduce or eliminate future nitrogen applications. Other years, excessive rains may have moved the nitrogen out of the root zone, and I will need to replace the loss with a late season application. So how do I know? How do I answer the age old question, how much have I lost? Or more importantly, how much more do I need? 360 Soil Scan is a tailgate nitrate tester that provides lab quality measurements and results of the nitrate nitrogen that I have in my soils. Pull a few samples, mix into a slurry, move to the sensor station, and it's about five minutes, and now I know how many parts per million I have in the sample. So what do I do with that? I flip it over to the nitrogen needs calculator and get a forecast of the additional nitrogen needed to reach my yield goal. And here's the tool that allows you to apply when and where it will be most beneficial. Our engineering team was absolutely obsessed with making sure 
This tool will precisely place the nitrogen where the plant can get to it faster as well as more efficiently. The aerodynamic base slides through the crop canopy. It holds the application hoses at the precise angle to deliver the nitrogen directly at the base of the plant. The wide drop base mounts to the spray boom using these risers and a specially designed mount kit that is customized for each brand and model of sprayer. One supply line per row feeds both sides of the row through a splitter that can be equipped with variable rate nozzles or standard orifices to support variable rate nitrogen applications. Watch how the supply hoses consistently place the liquid nitrogen at the base of the plant. That's one reason why you see rapid uptake of nitrogen by the plant. Nitrogen moves with moisture. And most every summer morning, the dew from the plant is funneled to the base of the plant. This stem water, often the equivalent of two to five tenths of an inch of rain in this localized area, can be enough to move the nitrogen to the root zone. And unlike culture systems that put the nitrogen 10 to 15 inches away from the root mass, Wide Drop delivers nitrogen to the heart of the root zone for rapid uptake. This bell curve shows that. Even after months of rain and time, Nitrogen is still concentrated in a tight band. And if that band was placed between the rows, it's a long way from the root zone. Here's an example of the speed of uptake. These images were taken over just four days, from pale green to dark green with enough in reserve to finish the season. As impressive as Y drop is at rescuing a starving field, if you see pale corn and firing leaves, some yield has already been lost. That's why a planned strategy for split nitrogen can eliminate the need for rescue. Results from our field trials in 2015 demonstrate how timing and placement can pay big dividends. In this Central Illinois study, we tested different timings and amount of nitrogen from a once and done approach to a base plus strategy. Here's a control strip with 225 pounds of ammonium sulfate applied just before planting. And here's the base plus treatment, 125 pounds pre-plant followed by 100 pounds of 28% nitrogen at V9. The result, 32 bushels of additional grain with the base plus strategy. And you can see the difference in both yield and revenue. A $100 per acre response. And the fact is, the later you go with nitrogen application, the stronger the yield results. Here is a field trial from Iowa that shows the difference between 60 units of urea applied at the end of May compared to 60 units at 32% UAN applied with wide drop three weeks later. The block with the wide drop yielded 235 bushel as opposed to the block with urea, which only yielded 191 bushel. This is the difference timing and placement can make. These kind of results mean that a lot of corn growers are searching for wide drop equipped sprayers for their acres. If you own a self-propelled sprayer, the simple addition of Y-Drop not only lets you capture the ROI for your fields, but opens up the potential for custom applications in your neighborhood. If you count on your fertilizer supplier for application, let them know that you want to test some acres with late season nitrogen. To help you find a Y-Drop equipped sprayer in your area, we are developing this Y-Drop locator. It will be on our website and it will allow you to identify custom application options in your area. The first step toward better nitrogen utilization is shifting your nitrogen plan to a base plus system. Apply a base to ensure plant health. Measure nitrate levels to understand if you have adequate nitrogen to reach your yield goal. And finally, apply nitrogen as late in the season as possible to reduce loss and maximize efficiency. That's our goal at 360 Yield Center. Maximum yield with maximum nitrogen efficiency. It's working on my farm put it to use on yours.